Okay, so <clears throat> good morning. We're going to start with, I'm going to call this, we're going to do this every class we've been doing it, but I'd like you to do them on the days that I'm not with you. They're called your little morning vitamin exercise pill, okay? So what we do is we warm up every single joint in the body and get that, the muscles warmed. As, and also we have what's called synovial fluid in all of our joints. So when you move them through their range of motion, you're getting that fluid to the joints and it feels a little better because we all wake up, you wake up and you're like, oh my goodness, I can't move. I'm stiff. So normal. It's, you know, you know what, it's, it is what it is. And we're thankful that we can feel these little aches and pains, right? But sometimes just the movement gets rid of it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with the legs. So at first, you're going to see at the beginning of the class, you're not going to get your full range of motion. That's okay. So don't push through it. Just gently swing the leg. So we're working in the hips too. And the hips have, you know, they move in so many different directions because it's a ball and socket joint. So they rotate, right? So we want to open them up. All right. We want to swing across. Go back to front and back. We're going to bend the knee, right? Because that's working the hip actually, right? Two and three and four and five. Let's circle it. So we're staying on that same side. We'll do the other one in a moment. But I also want you to do, I want you to bring that foot across the body a little bit. Right, we're also doing a little bit of a balance challenge here because we're shifting our weight. You can hold on. Like I said, it's sometimes it takes a little while to get our vestibular system <clears throat> in the here and now. Good. Let's now march it out. I'm going to realign the spine. So when we do unilateral training, that's one leg at a time, one arm at a time. <clears throat> we want to reset that spine. So let's go to the other side gently. And just take notice um, how far you're able to get that leg up. And by the end of the class, we're going to do this again. And you're going to see it. You should see a considerable difference. Come across. <clears throat> Good. We're going to roll it out. You know, four or five times. Let's roll it the other way. I don't think I did that on the other side. Two three and four. Maybe just my hips are getting a little cranky right now. So I'm just going to push them out side to side. All right, let's do the lift. One, two, three, four, and five circles. Good. Let's march it out in the center. Oh, we forgot this one. Here we go. Right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's pay attention to those ankles. We're going to come up on the toes, back on the heels, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm going to hold on. I'm going to just extend my leg a little bit and do circles with the ankle for one. So if you have a chair there, you can sit in the chair and do it as well. I'd rather have you out and trying to do this on one foot. <clears throat> right, our goal is to really, as much as I like the chair for training, and you know, we really want to get out and ex sitting is tough. Sitting because you know what happens, right? So if you're sitting in this position for a long time, we're going to get hip and back issues. Everything is going to get really tight because it's going to get you, it's going to kind of get stuck in this position. So many of us that have had office jobs <clears throat> sometimes will have that tight hip, lower back issues, all from sitting. So we can undo it though. We can definitely undo it. Okay, now we're going to do a little step together, step together warming up this will warm up the whole body so what we're going to do we're going to add those shoulders we're going to lift them
Good. Now we're going to stand in place. I like a little wider stance. So <clears throat> what you want to do is line your ankles up to hips, maybe even a little wider, not much shoulders, right? That's really our comfortable, safe position. You can kind of rock back and forth, shifting your weight. We're going to work the hips. So we're going to do right now, we're sliding them side to side. We're going to do some circles. One, two, three, and four. We're going to circle the other way. One, two, three, and four. Now we're just going to like as if we were sliding them <clears throat> side to side. Good. Now let's get those arms and shoulders working. We're going to start with nice big circles. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to take one hand and we're going to, as if we were pushing it through the water and then dropping the thumb down and pushing it back for one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to go to the other side. Go one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to take those arms up, thumbs up, circle them forward. One, two, three, four, and five back the other way. One, two, three, four, and five. Roll those shoulders again. Maybe put our hands here now, right? One, two, three, four, and five, and forward for one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, take a big breath in, reach up as high as you can, elongate the spine, let's move to one side, back to center, lifting through, over to the other side. Good, gently bring those arms back down, gently rocking side to side. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's get ground engaged. We're going to work that core from this standing position. Open up all 10 toes, press them into the floor. Press your heels down, feel the glutes engage, feel the inner thighs engage. Bring those shoulders up, back, and down. Bring the belly button in, cinching the rib cage, taking those hands out, making them nice and stiff bringing that dynamic tension to the core. And just give me a couple of breaths right here. And release and shake it out. We're going to do that again. All 10 toes in, press them down, press the heels in, engage the glutes, inner thighs are engaged, shoulders are back and down. We're elongating the spine, belly button is drawn in, Rib cage is drawn in, shoulders back and down. Take those hands out, stiffen them, breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. We're going to do a little yoga today. We're going to take those toes out. Okay. Now you can have your chair nearby if you need, you're unsure of your balance. That's fine. Okay. Or you can try it without. You have a nice wide stance. This is secure. What I want you to do is get those hands in goalposts, and I just want you to do the arms first, so you're getting that, that feel, right? You're going to bring those elbows in. We're working our back muscles right now. So you're going to squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, release, squeeze, and release. Back to goalpost arms. Now we're going to add a little squat with this. We're going to come straight down and up. So these are called moonflowers, and we go into a five-point star, okay? So we go moonflowers, we come down here, up and down, and you want to inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up, inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up, inhale, down, exhale, up. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Good. Shake it out. Right now we're going to go into what we call our chair flow. Okay, let's start with chair because chair we've done and it really, again, brings that core into focus. So what you want to do, I'm going to turn sideways. My feet are hip distance apart. 
I take my hips back. This is a hip hinge, right? We're just hinging a little bit. We're going to draw the belly button in. We're going to pull those shoulders down and back. We're going to take those hands in prayer and just set up that core right now, feeling nice and strong. So now we're going to take this chair and flow it. We're going to take the arms back, right up and back. Just let them flow, keeping the hips back, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, keeping the chest lifted. We don't want to get dizzy, right? We want to keep the head above the heart. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's freeze again. Let's come on down, strengthen that core. I'm going to give you a little balance challenge. I'm going to turn forward here. I'm going to take my hands and fists, draw those shoulders back, feeling nice and strong in those abdominal muscles. I'm going to come up on one set of toes right here. Heel is lifted on the left side, then bring it down. Lift the heel on the right side and bring it down. Let's do that again. Lift on the left and lift on the right. Okay, now, if you want to challenge yourself, come up, bring both heels up and try to hold that. Remember feeling that nice dynamic tension in the core and then releasing. Let's do a little step touch here. Good job. Okay. The next position, which is the strongest position in a yoga's toolbox, a yogi's toolbox. Okay. So what we do, we take a nice wide stance. So what I want you to do is take your left foot and point it out. Okay. I wanted to, I want you to take, I'm sorry, take your right foot and point it out. We're mirrored. Take your left foot and point it towards your device or me, okay? So you should have a nice T. The one foot goes this way and the other one here. So if you were to bring it, shorten it, it would be a little T here, okay? So we're gonna stride back. So this is what I want you to feel. Your hips are facing me. I want you to draw those shoulders back and down. Your sternum is popped out. That means proud chest, right? You're gonna push forward a little bit. You're gonna feel a nice engagement of that right glute which is your butt, and then the front of your right leg. These are your quadriceps. You're going to feel a nice engagement there. As you push back, so you, what you want to do is you actually want to pull the floor away, feeling a nice strength. You're nice and strong right here. What a great, great feeling. Nice and strong, right? So now we're going to play with those arms a little bit. We're going to take them up, right? We're going to stay right here. Just staying here is a challenge, okay? Shoulders back and down. Think about what's working here, right? We feel those shoulders engaged. The abs are drawn in. The legs are really holding us up right here. And now we're going to take that back arm and move it for a little bow and arrow here, right? We're a warrior. Two, three, four. Now on five, I want you to take this hand, slide it back. Bring this one up. We look up, we call that stargazer or reverse warrior. Now we bring the hand right here for support. Let's bring this one up the other way. Now let's face forward to get out of this and roll up that spine, walking those feet in. Let's do a little chair flow again. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Warrior two on the other side. So that means your left toe is pointing this way. Your right foot is pointing the device or me. I want you to draw those shoulders up, back, and down. I want you to draw your belly button in. Again, right here. This is your warrior two. Just hold right there. Now, if you want to add the hands, we'll add our hands right here. Good. Take a couple of nice deep breaths right here. And let's move. Let's do the bow and arrow on this side for one, two, three, four, and five. Walking those feet in. We're going to go into our mountain pose, which is really what we started with. We're going to inhale. We're going to bring those hands together. But now we're going to do a little back bend. Right. I'm going to turn sideways. A little extension here. 
and then dropping those arms. Excellent. So that's your little dose of yoga today. All right. Now, if you want to grab your water, take a couple of sips, we're going to do a little movement. Okay. We're going to start with marches. We're going to do some skaters. Um, is everybody okay standing today? Do I need to um, use the chair as well? Or are we okay? We're right. fine. Okay, good. All right. I'm, I'm, I'll keep it simple, but I just want you moving. I want your heart rate up a little bit. Okay. So we're going to start with a gentle march. Now, remember what we want to do as we get a little warmer, we want to bring, try to, our goal is to bring, put your hand, your thumbs in your belly button. And the goal is to get your knees up that high. That really is great hip mobility. And why do we need great hip mobility? We need it. We don't want to trip, right? When we're lifting our feet, we want to be able to get up those stairs, right? We want to be able to walk over obstacles. So if you can get your hips up, your legs up this high, your hips are working, legs are working. So let's try this. Now, you can stay right here. There's benefits to being tempo being slow and benefits benefits for it to be high. So here, if we keep the march slow, we're working more on balance, okay? So let's do that. Let's do 30 seconds of the march nice and slow. And then we're gonna add the tempo and we're gonna work our cardiorespiratory. How's that? All right, so right now, as I was talking, that's about 15 seconds that have gone by. You have another 15. You can move your arms, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, step touch. Okay, now you may not get as high because you're not gonna be paying attention to your, you wanna pay attention to your form, but sometimes when we increase the tempo, it's okay to go a little lower with this one. Cause I just, I want you to get that benefit. Your respiratory system, you'll feel a little out of breath, which is normal, right? Your heart's gonna race a little bit. All right, I'm gonna give you, we'll go do five more seconds. Ready, here we go. Five, four, three, two and march it out. Now we're gonna increase the tempo. We wanna move the arms because that's gonna get the heart rate up, okay? Your respiratory system is going to thank you. Your heart's gonna thank you. And breathe. <laughs> Don't hold your breath ever when we do exercise, okay? Little tidbit, whenever you do um, exercise, it doesn't have to be a formal breath. Just pay attention to that breath, make sure it's you're not, because if you hold your breath on <clears throat> with exercise step touch, your blood pressure tends to go high, okay? We don't want that to happen. So you wanna breathe through all of these exercises. Let's move those arms. Okay, <clears throat> the next one we're gonna do, instead of bringing the knees up, we're gonna kick back, okay? So if you need to, that's fine. If you need to hold on here, if you need a chair, that's fine, because I really want you to work the back of the body right now. So we're just gonna kick for 30 seconds. Now, I like to add the arms. You can, or you can hold on entirely up to you, okay? Here we go. You know, sometimes we have those days that we're not just moving as great as we should, and then we have those days where you really wanna kick it up. So here we go, keep going. <clears throat> We're going to do 10 more seconds. You have five more. Four, three, two, and one. And step touch. This is our recovery. Step touch. Let's take two steps one way. All right. We want to be able to move laterally as well. Uh, we're going to give the legs a little rest. We're going to go to a little kickboxing drill. Okay. And these are jabs. Jabs are just a quick hit. We don't want to throw it really hard where you'll hurt your shoulder, but I do want to get the intensity up. If you have, I have these little baby two pound weights, which is great. So if you have them and you want to use them, I'll give you a couple of seconds to get them. And we'll do a, a whole series of boxing with these. You'll get a little, um, resistance here too. All right. Oh, good. You all have them. Excellent. Cause we can move on from these. Yay. All right. Remember this is a horse stance. 
My toes are facing you. There's a tiny bend in my knees. My abs are, they're not like drawn in where I can't breathe. They're, you're just aware of that dynamic tension in the core, right? We want those shoulders back and down because we don't want to hurt those shoulders as we throw these punches. Now we're just going to jab. Follow me. I'm going to give you a count now. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Excellent. Now we're going to do one side. It's called a cross punch. And I want you to think of pivoting. Pivot that back leg a little bit. Go on, going up high here. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now go back to center. Let's jab it out. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jab left. Go one, two, no pivot right here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other side. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. Now my favorite uppercut, we're going to throw it up here. Go one and over, two and over, three and over, four and over, five and over, six, seven and eight. Now we're going to hit the bag, hit it, but we're going to come on down and we're going to come on up for one. Now, if you don't have the weights, just go down, use those hands and up, two and up, three bring it up, four, bring it up, five, bring it up, six, bring it up, seven, bring it up, and eight. Woo, excellent. Deep breath, weights away for now. Let's recover. Nice and easy. Go ahead, do that little twist. Deep breath in. And exhale down. Let's let's get we'll give a little attention to the lower back. Okay, so we're gonna come on down here. My back is flat, right? So what I want you to do now <clears throat> on the inhale, I want you to drop your belly and think about your belly relaxing. So we inhale, we drop it down. Exhale as if there were a campfire right under the belly button, and you have to move away from that fire, but you're not going to roll the back, right? We want we want to think about that back staying nice and straight as if a ceiling was coming down and we had a tuck under it, right? So we inhale, drop. We exhale, scoop away from the fire, but we keep that back in that neutral position. Great abdominal exercise here and great for the back. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop, roll. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop, roll. Inhale, drop. Exhale, scoop, roll. Roll it up. Now I'm going to, going to take my chair into the picture here because we're going to work on some stretching right now. Your muscles are nice and warm. Great time to stretch them. So behind the chair, <clears throat> I'll let you get set up. Give you a couple of seconds. Let me know when you're there. Okay, we're going to walk back. I don't want the chair to move on you, okay? So you're going to walk back. And don't drop your head. Just bring your ears near towards your shoulders, right? Getting a nice stretch from the shoulders down to the lower back and glutes. Now we're gently going to rock our knees in and out, bring them in and out, coming up on our toes, down on our heels. Gentle little stretch. <clears throat> now, one of my favorites, I'm going to widen my stance I'm going to take my left hand off of the chair and reach behind my right leg. I don't care how low you can reach, how high, just reach behind the opposite leg and look out that side. You're going to get a nice stretch on that side of the body. We're gently going to come back to the center and we're going to bicycle those knees in and out again. Gentle, gentle. Now we're going to take the opposite hand, bring it behind the opposite leg. Look out that window. <clears throat> Come up gently, walk in. I want you to do a little back extension. We're going to open up our shoulders. If you can, release the chair as if you were reaching behind you for that big beach ball. 
opening up the chest, proud chest, right? Good. And gently come down. Now, holding back on, taking one foot all the way out, not all the way. We're actually, I'm sorry, it's just a little split squat. Take it about six inches away from your other heel. Heel down though, I want your heel down. And then I want you to gently come down in, into a little squat. Here's so what you're doing. You're stretching from your Achilles, which is the back of your ankle, your calf muscle. And you're just gonna hold that. Let's go back up. Let's push those hips in and out, gently rocking them side to side. <clears throat> now, taking the opposite foot about six inches, that toe is about six to 12 inches away from that front heel. We bend our knees and stretch the back of our body there. Good, come on up. Now we're gonna open the front of the hip. So I want you to take a step back, holding on. So my right leg is out, my left hand is holding the chair. I'm going to reach back with my right hand, give a little back extension, trying to bring some length in this hip area. area. <clears throat> Good, back to center. We're gonna go back, stretch those hips out one more time. Gently rock side to side, bringing the opposite foot forward. I'm sorry, the opposite foot back. Let me turn this way so you can see, right? I'm opening up this hip, reaching back, little back extension, opening up this hip. Good, and march it out. Now this one's tough. You can do this one in the chair. I'll give you those options. I'm gonna hold on with one hand. I'm gonna reach underneath and just kind of curl my back over that, towards that knee my chest towards it. So you're getting a nice little back stretch. And then we go into a figure four. I put my hand right here. Here's our chair pose. Remember chair pose? Sit down into that chair pose. You're, you're in this figure four. And I forget this, is this stork? I for flying pigeon, one of those, not flying pigeon. I think it's stork. <laughs> Good. And then gently come back up. Let's go on to the other side. Let's give that a little, little hug. Come across into that figure four. And sit it down. So while we're, while we're still standing, I'm gonna put you in the chair in a little bit, but I wanna do as much as we can outside, right? On standing. Um, this is called our spinal balance. If you have, I'm gonna show you two options, just you don't have to do it now. But if you are able to get up and down off of the floor, I will show you what it looks like down here, right? So we're on all fours, right? My shoulders are pulled back and down. I draw my right leg out and my left hand comes out. Hips stay square to the ground, pulling in my belly button, tightening up that glute right here, pulling that shoulder back and down. And then we just flow into the other side. This is called spinal balance. What this is, is a spinal stabilizer. It's great for the your abs, your spine, okay? Works wonders for balance too, because that's where, now we're gonna apply it here. So we're going to do it standing. So <clears throat> the same, you're going to lift your, op both hands on, on the chair, okay? Lift your right leg, even though we're mirrored, just lift your right leg. It's easier for me to cue this way. And then, take your left hand and extend it. So right leg out, right hand on the chair, left leg out. I want you to make sure your hip is drawn towards the floor. That means I don't want it open looking at me right here, straight down and hold that for five, four, three, two, and one. March it out. Remember that's a little unilateral. So we wanna march it out, realign the spine, take a couple of nice deep breaths. And we're gonna go over to the other side. So left, Left hand, left foot is on the floor. Right leg is, did I do that side? I did that side, I'm sorry. Opposite, right? So yeah. my left leg is out, my right hand is extended and we're going to hold right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so now we're gonna do this again but I'm gonna add a little something to it. Um, don't do it yet. I just wanna kind of explain um, because it gets, so watch me first. Don't even do it yet, okay? So I'm gonna take my right leg up. I'm going to flex my foot. 
going to take my right hand out, but I'm going to make a fist. And what I want to do, I want to draw my shoulder and elbow as if I was drawing it back towards my midsection. And I want to think about bringing my knee towards my chest. I'm not actually bringing it here. I'm drawing it in, right? There's that, that mind body. So what we're doing, opposite hand, you make a fist, you flex your foot and you think about drawing your shoulder and elbow towards the middle of your body. And you think about drawing your knee towards your navel. You're going to get a really nice dynamic tension back glute abs. Okay. Really good for the spine. Okay. So let's try that. Take the opposite leg up. So my right leg is up. My left hand is out. I'm making a fist. I'm drawing my shoulder towards my belly button. I'm drawing my knee towards my belly button. And I'm going to breathe for five, four, three, two, and one. Do you feel the difference when you make that fist and you draw back? It makes a huge difference. Okay. This is easier on the floor, but not everybody. I don't, I don't know, you know, your environment or anything. Okay. So I can't have you do that right now. But if you want to do it on the floor, it, you can even, I'll show you a little trick, okay? So when I'm doing, my wall is behind me. So I'm going, you have this on recording, so which is good. Um, so what's happening is I'm putting my right foot and pressing it into the wall, okay? So my right side stays connected here. The left hand comes out and I draw a fist and I feel my hamstring working, my glute working, my abs and my spine. Okay. So you can do that. Remember, make that fist, draw it in. Great, great spinal stabilizer. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to reverse it right now. This we do standing. So on the chair here, right? Holding on. So you'll be holding on. You're mirroring me. So you're holding on with your right hand. Your right leg comes out. It doesn't have to be high. It can be two inches off the floor. Shoulders back and down, engaging the abs, taking the opposite hand across the body and just holding, right? Now, when we want to challenge ourselves, you can let go, right? That will prove that you have a nice, strong core and a good sense of balance here, okay? So... Balance is key, guys. Core strength is key. All right, opposite side. Here we go. Come on out. Doesn't have to be high. Come across. Hold, 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 hold. Maybe let go. Maybe, maybe one finger, maybe two fingers. Maybe you're not gripping, right? There's our progression. Grip, four fingers, three fingers, two fingers, one finger, and then not holding. Excellent. March it out. So now let's make this flow a little bit. Okay. So we're going to do, I call it my wooden soldier march. Again, it doesn't have to be high. I want opposite hand to go towards the opposite ankle. So you're doing a little wooden soldier march. All right. This is great for core stability and balance. Okay, step touch. We don't always need equipment to strengthen our muscles, okay? So the next exercise is the last exercise, and then we're gonna get in the chair and I'm gonna give you a little bit more um, stretching, okay? So what I want you to do are goalpost arms, right? Goalpost, not here, goalpost. Line up your elbows, take a check, elbows to shoulders, right? Good, now what I want you to do is draw them back, pull them back, pull those scapulas or your shoulder blades together as you pull back. One, two, strengthening the upper back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ah, roll those shoulders back and forward. Now we're going to extend the arms out, thumbs up, bringing those shoulder blades again together for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now circle those hands. One, two, three, four, five. Circle back. One, two, three, four, and five. You just strengthen your shoulders and your back. Give yourself a hug, opening up the back. If chair is available, 
just go right here, open up one shoulder, maybe a couple of circles back and forth. I'm going to switch it over to the other side, dropping the arm circle back and forth, side to side. All right, okay, let's get seated. One more exercise, I'm sorry, I lied. There's one more. We wanna work those quadriceps, right? in the ankles, and then we'll stretch. Okay. So what I want you to do, I want you to put your hands on the front of your legs. These are your quadriceps. Okay. There's four muscles in those upper thighs and they support and align our knees and our hips. So we want them nice and strong. So I want you to do, you don't need resistance for this. You can use a band. If you don't have the band, you just come out here, squeeze those quadriceps, feel them nice and tight, right? So that's what I want you to do with each extension. I want you to tighten up the front of the legs and bring it out down. Tighten, foot should be flexed, right? That means your toes should be towards your nose and keep going. I lost counts, so let's make this two. <laughs> we'll do eight, three and over, four and over five and over, six and over, seven and over, eight and over. Take that one leg, you can even support it, point and flex, one, ankles, two, three, four, five, side to side, one, two, three, four, five, circle, one, two, three, four, five, circle the other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Other side, point flex. One, two, three, four, five. Back, forth, one, two, three, four, five. Circle, one, two, three, four, five. Back the other way, one, two, three, four, and five. Ah, time to stretch again. We did not work our neck and upper shoulders. So I want to do that now. I want you to just bring your hands, open them up and just bring these, these are called your traps right here between your shoulders and your collarbone. And you're just going to gently massage them forward. We're going to work the neck because now it's nice and warm. I just want you to turn to one side, relax those shoulders, bring them down, center over to the other side back to center, over to the other side, back to center and over to the other side. Now let's look up, gently bring your chin up, feeling the nice stretch in the front of your neck. Coming back to center, gently dropping your chin down to your chest. gently coming up to center. Now, without shrugging your shoulders, bring them down and back. Bring an ear to a shoulder. Back to center, ear to shoulder. Good, roll them out. Let's go forward. Let's open up the shoulders, circle them around, back and forth. Good, and back here. Now, take one hand across. Take this hand and give it a nice little tug, stretching the shoulder. Over to the other side, arm comes across the body. The other one comes right here, just gives it a nice little tug. Good, we're gonna open the hips again. You're gonna turn both feet to one side. So you're kind of cutting your body in half with the chair. The outside leg will come back. We're gonna give a little back bend right here, opening up the hip here. So the leg that is back is the arm that will come over and we're gonna thread the other one through, getting a nice stretch between the upper and lower body. Coming back to center. Ah, oh, deep breath before we get to the other side. Let's elongate the spine. Lift up nice and high. Good. Let's reach to one side. Reach to the other. Gently coming down, giving that little rotation side to side. Okay. Both knees to the other side. 
one leg goes back, giving a nice little back bend, reaching up and over. This hand comes through. Coming back to center, not to neglect those hands. We're going to open and close for one, two, three, four, and five. Close them and wrist circles. Little figure eights. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's end with our chant. Do we remember our Satanama? Here we go. Satanama. Let's sing it. Satanama. 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 Whisper it. Say it to yourself. And with this, I send you off. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you next Wednesday. Be well. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank Well done. Hi there.